Hilo Plitman, back with us once again at Heinz Hall. What a pleasure to have you. Last time it was for David Del Tredici. This time it's Darkness in the Ancient Valley. Richard Daniel for his piece. Pittsburgh and Nashville put it together. This yes. is the Pittsburgh premiere. How's it sound to you? Uh, a spectacular piece. Um, very unusual and moving. And uh, the Nashville was fun. And the symphony here sounds amazing as always. <laughs> What is this piece about, Iran? Um, yes, he, uh, Richard is, uh, is was born in Iran, I believe, but grew up in the United States mainly. And um, I, I think at some point in his life, there were, were all these events that happened with, I, I can't remember the name, but the woman who got shot for going to, to watch some kind of protest in Iran. I remember the Iran. incident, yeah. Um, and it really moved him and um, made him want to... Um, write kind of in tribute to that. And um, I, I think he wrote a number of pieces that have to do with the issue of the the mistreatment of, of women in, in Iran. Um, and this one uh, was all about that as well. Um, the, the last movement takes a poem from Rumi, from the 13th century Sufi poet, and um, uh, that talks about a, a woman standing up to the abuse of, of, uh, of her husband, in a sense. Are you singing in English? Yes, it is. It's an English translation. I don't remember the, the person who translated, unfortunately. The music you sing is very beautiful. Yes. Very evocative. Very, atmospheric. very. Atmospheric. Mm -hmm. And the whole piece, very listenable. Yes, and takes a lot of musical elements as well from kind of the, the Persian style and, and that kind of thing. It's really cool. Hila, you've been with us a couple of times now. Do you feel at home? Do you feel like you know Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Symphony? <laughs> feel comfortable on stage at Heinz Hall? Yes, absolutely. Um, I've been here a number of times. I adore it. Uh, I went walking around Pittsburgh today, uh, and I just was reminded of how beautiful the city is. It's going over the bridge and everything that's been happening and on the, on the water, it's just such a beautiful city. And the orchestra, of course, is one of the greats. Um, today, I, I told you that we, we had the first rehearsal on the Daniel Poor, and they read it like they've known it for years, and it's, it's miraculous. Um, really just gorgeous. Some orchestras are a little bit cautious about new music, but yes. I always feel Pittsburgh really digs in, yeah. even when they don't know the piece. Yeah, I feel that it's um, kind of endemic in in the whole, in in a good way, uh, in, in the in in every single part of of what's happening here in Pittsburgh, and and I also feel it. There's there's some orchestras that you go to where the individual players seem a little. Uh, almost fearful of the of the experience and the and the process of learning this some crazy new piece and here they all they're all so cool <laughs> about it and they seem confident about it and and just they come to it with an with uh, an open heart and it, it's it's a joy when it's you're on really stage the quality of the sound that you hear any, yeah, any strike you any, well any? again it's you know it's funny i i probably look look like a fool but um they were rehearsing once again, I'm, I only sing on the fifth movement of, of this particular piece, but while they were rehearsing it, I just went out and sat on stage, <laughs> not for any reason other than to be able to listen to this wonderful sound that comes from this orchestra and just, just, to, just to soak it all in.